All right, boys, it is youth intake. Our first youth intake. Remember, youth intake is so important in this save because we're so limited with what players we can pick up. We've had a decent enough intake. We've literally signed everybody this year to give everyone the opportunity just so we fill up the squad a little bit for the next couple of seasons. Let's get into today's episode. Two games as well, and we are in a title race. Let's get into it. All right, boys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. So, the development center. Now, if you weren't aware, Patrons, you get yourselves in the game, the top two tiers, scouting tier and the youth team tier, you get a regen in the game. Now, I have named one, two, three, four, five, six regens first. So what I've done is elite talents for the year. I've given it to six of my Patreons. The other Patreons that are eligible for a regen, don't worry, you will get yourselves in the game next season. However, if you can't wait and you want one of these three top talents, let me know down in the comments and I will immediately shuffle and I, and I will immediately put you in the game. So it did say our sort of like our report halfway through the season at Christmas, it did say we were getting a goalkeeper and a goalkeeper we have. Paul Columbani is a Gibraltar, so not a great start in terms of born in Yorkshire. But remember, if, as long as they've come through the youth system at the club, we can keep them. So he's not from Yorkshire. But he's 5 foot 11. I hope he grows. I'm not quite sure how if goalkeepers grow. I'm hoping that will change because otherwise he's going to be too small. Five star potential. Punching looks pretty good. We'll work on a few things now in training as well. Now they've signed, uh, signed youth team deals. We'll look at him improving his first touch. What's his passing? His passing's all right. He's six. He's not bad. Natural fitness. We don't need to look at that. Positioning, though. I think his mentals are very, very good. Anticipation, eight. Concentration, 11, I think, which for a 16 year old is good. Um, decisions, we could maybe look at improving that. Determination, good. Positioning 13 as well for a goalkeeper, absolutely vital. Um, so yeah, we'll maybe look at improving, try and get his throw in and his first touch a little bit better. Next one is a right winger from Ireland, Ian Cedar. Now, a little bit disappointed. Another one from Ireland, another one that's not born in Yorkshire, but come through the youth system. Technicals, not there yet, but this is the thing that I'm looking at. He may prove to be a very, very good centre forward. Six foot four. If we can get what we are going to do is we're going to get working on their technicals right away. But off the ball is not bad. Leadership and flair, not bad. Work rate 17. Sorry, teamwork 17. Work rate 12. If we can just get the technicals up a little bit, he may be some of some use to us. I think he's going to be an absolute handful. Anyone who's six foot four in football manager, if we can work on his pace a little bit as well, if we can get that to sort of like 13 or 14 by the time he turns 20, when we've got four years really of de de developing these youngsters, I think we may have a bit of a, not so much a superstar on our hands, but a player that will definitely cause problems if he can play look both sides of the pitch as well, I think it's important. So he can help us out on that right-hand side. And I think he will be a decent player to maybe play up against someone. Maybe we've got a star striker. I think Ian Cedar may be a good decoy, someone who's working hard and at 6 foot 4 he's going to be a handful. Next one in is Mark Fairhurst. He was born in Hartlepool. So not Yorkshire again. Thanks for this football manager. But come through the youth system. Technicals all right for a right back. I'm liking his tackling of 13. Crossing of eight as well at this young age. Natural fitness 16. Five foot 10 so he's not the smallest. Very good mentals. Bravery 19. Determination 13. Leadership 13. Positioning 14. And teamwork 15. Teamwork 15. So, very pleased. I think he will probably want to be the one of the first players that actually breaks into the first team squad. On the left-hand side of midfield, someone that I think we may look at potentially changing into a wing-back when we're playing with wing-backs. So, if I'm going to use players, they need to be half-decent. So, we'll look at retraining now. He's not great at tackling, but a lot of these numbers... Remember what level we're at? We're at level... We're at level six. A lot of these numbers are close to tens already. So we've got he's got one nine, nine for dribbling, nine for first touch, nine for free tick, free kick taking. Passing techniques already good. Flair is good. Nine aggression. 
Uh, it's a few eights in there as well. Strength not great. Pace is 10. If we get that up to sort of like 14, 15, he will be a pretty decent player for us. Lewis Black, central midfielder, only five foot seven, but a few things that I'm liking so far with him. Flair 14, bravery 18, aggression 12. Once again, a few 10s, 10s acceleration, 10 pace, 10 natural fitness, eight strength already, considering he's only five foot seven. Tackling nine, so that's nearly there. Marking looks good. Heading, first touch looks good. I think he's going to be a bit of an all-round central midfielder, but someone that I'm really happy with. And I think we'll see a nice little improvement with him over the next few seasons. The only thing is low determination for personality. I'm still debating how much personality actually affects the game. If you can train them upright, give him the right mentoring, give him the right opportunities, I think we can make Lewis into a player. And then the last one is Thiago Green. Uh, <laughs> Sierra Leone, definitely not Yorkshire. Um, his full name is Prince Fofana, but we've changed it to one of our Brazilian patrons, Tiago. So Tiago Green, six foot three, jumping reach of 12, heading of eight. So we're going to really work on those. The idea is that he's going to be, once again, a real handful. Pace isn't great, but work rate 13, flair 19. We've got loads of flair in this team for some reason. Technique's nearly there. Passing's good for his age. Long shots is good. Heading will be good. First touch, 14. Finishing not great of six, but once again, there's a lot of silvers. I think a lot of ones that might turn from sort of like silver numbers, which is obviously numbers between six and 10. I think a lot of them will go into the blues, which is sort of like 12, 11, 12, 13, and 14. All right, now that's not all of it. We have got three other decent talents. We've got another goalkeeper who at six foot two has got some nice, rushing out is good, punching's good, handling's good, aerial reach is good, six foot two. If you are one of my Patreons, there you go. You're more than welcome to have him. Let me know down in the comments. Mark Marsden, only five foot four, but pace 13 at five foot four. Lovely mono brow. Technical's not good, but what we are going to work on him is just being electric. So we'll work on his pace. We're going to work on his dribbling, work on his crossing. He may be not quite at the level of sort of like football league standard, but to have that amount of pace, acceleration 13 at 16, I think there may be something there. And the last one, Johnny Richardson, five foot seven, attacking midfielder. We may change it because he's not got much in terms of vision. We may look at more of a deep, maybe a bit more of a deep line forward. Potentially, his flair's decent. We can get his vision up a little bit. Passing 10, no. First touch, eight. Finishing six. I think he will be probably not good enough. More of an all-round, quite an all-round player there. But he's got a few numbers. He's got a few numbers in there. Apart from strength and balance, a lot of the numbers that you want for a deep line forward are at a level that, for his age, are pretty good. All right, so that is the Youth Intake. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon, supporting me and the series, go check it out. Link's down below. Go check it out. Get yourself in the game, if not this season with those, but next season. How it's working is the people that have been Patreons for the longest, I'm working through you first, and then hopefully next season we'll have another batch of youth players. If I sign any regens in the game, that also gives me the opportunity once again to get players in, to get you Patreons in, in the game a little bit quicker. All right, so that is the youth intake. I'm chuffed to a certain extent. I would have loved like a, an amazing centre forward, but it wasn't to be. There is always next year. Now, league-wise, we are still second, but we are three points away from York, not with a game in hand. Goal difference very, very close as well. We have picked it up the last few weeks. Um, I had a bit of a, not a meltdown, not so much a meltdown, but... Just a bit of, we changed tactic a few times. We even used my Zeman, the 4-3-3, a little bit to really go at teams in this area here. And then just since Blythe, I thought, sod it. We're going back to the holding midfielder, the tactic that we've used the most. We were kind of doing all right with it. And since we've gone back to it, we've wrapped, racked up one, two, three, four, five straight wins. Today is Farsley and Hereford. Where are Farsley? Farsley are bottom. And Hereford are 18th, so we should be able to get three, two wins. York City are away at Chester, and they're also at home against Farsley, so no doubt they'll probably pick up two wins. Jamie Hopcourt is the star man at the moment, 23 goals for the season. I think we're at a near full strength squad. We've got Palmer on international duty. We can cope with that. Wilson is going to play in the holding role with Butterfield in there. Let's get Habringham on the pitch. 
Kebby struggling, so we'll go Nathan Dyer. Let's bring in Pilkington onto the bench. Harrison's also struggling a little bit with fitness. So we'll give... So we're going to give Gabby a go as well because Big John's just struggling a little bit recently. And then we'll go with the lottery winner, Terry Kennedy, in at right back. Here we go. It should be pretty standout. We are away from home, which is always a little bit of a worry, but we're looking at two straight wins today. Right, here we go. First highlight. They've gone long. Straight from the kick. Spencer is in. He's at the post. How can that... We've got three at the back and a central defender on cover. Dear me, that shouldn't happen, especially from a goalkeeper that's kicking it, what, 60, 70 yards down the pitch. Right, here we go. Faz is Celtic going long. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Butterfield picks it up. He finds Hopcut with a lovely pass. That is a lovely goal if it counts. It does count. Jamie Hopcut's 25th of the goal. goal da -da 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 -da. 25th goal of the season. Lovely pick out by Jacob Butterfield. We're going to have him definitely still for a couple of seasons. Nice and simple. Lovely run from Hopcut just off the shoulder of the centre half. We are 1-0 up. Right, here we go. Half an hour in. We're nice and compact. I like it. Definitely become harder to beat over these last four or five weeks. We were way too open last time as we changed tactics. We've gone back to what we trust. I think it's always good, boys, to get a tactic in the background that like you can just go to because we had a spell where this tactic, which not so much the tactic, but our form just suffered a little bit. So it was good to go away, go to something else, and then come back to it later on in the season. And that decision so far has proven pretty good. Now, it may change because I bet they'll score from here. Now I've said that. Robbins, crossing to the box. It's cleared again. It's going back out. Could have done with my two centre forwards coming and getting that. Parking. Byram. Atkinson. Can we win it? Can we win it? Can we win it? If we win it, we've got a break on. I think we are going to win it. Habrigham steps in. Butterfield. Is he going to slide a pass in? He does. To Jamie Hopcut. Here we go. It should be 2-0. He's put it wide. Dear me, what a miss that is. Right, Alan again. Everything starts with Alan at this left back. Right, Alan, here we go. Right, here we go. Just before half time, every highlight starts with this left back. Spencer, Byron, we're going to get that. Kennedy steps in, into Wilson. The anchorman Semple's injured. It's a shame because we're struggling a little bit at centre half. We definitely need to strengthen in there, I think, next season if we're playing, if we're going to keep with three at the back. Right, here we go. Has done well. Cross. McGill was underneath it. It's come out to Williams. Sorry, William, Williams. Wilson. Lovely volley. It's going to come back for a fourth time, is it? It is. Dyer. Good run from Nathan Dyer. Digs out across. Hop Cuddy's there. He guides it into the corner. And there is the overpowered headers, if you've ever seen it, because Jamie Hopcut is not great at heading the ball. And he's just headed it like a prime Alan Shearer. What's his heading? Heading of seven, jumping reach of ten. And he's rose there and headed it beautifully into the corner. We don't care. It's Farsley Celtic nil. Athletic Club York 2, when we're just getting a little bit of form, boys, just at the right part of the season. I was a little bit worried that we could end up in the playoffs and be on the wrong end of be on the wrong end of a little bit of form, and then we play against half decent teams in the playoffs. We'll get them come unstuck. Now there's a little bit of time. That's going to be a great goal. That is a brilliant goal. Butterfield at the heart of it again. Reconza finds the net. It is. 3-0 Athletic Club. But what I was saying is we need to just make sure that our form is right. You need to time it perfectly for the playoffs. We've still got maybe 10 games to go. Is there 10 games? Eight games. After today, there is eight games. Right, here we go with the free kick. Kennedy's there. And Terry Kennedy, the millionaire. Two goals for the season for him. 4-0. We are back on it, boys. Semple. Wheater. Right, we're going to do, I'm going to do a change because I really don't want to lose Semple. We haven't really got a defender either, which is brilliant. So we're going to have to go Kingsley James. Fingers crossed. We've got a long way to go, but fingers crossed. The team bottom of the league will not score four goals in the remaining 35 minutes. But we want to keep Semple fit. Lovely pass into McGill. We've lost it. Are they going to get straight back into it here? Robbins. Semple's there again. Richards, Hansen, he's off the post, he's going to tap in the rebound, James Hansen, the former Bradford City man, has tapped in 17 goals for the season, not bad for him, not bad, was he born in Yorkshire? Ho oh, ho, he was, he was, 
I was 34. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Big John retires. We can do something about that. £450 a week. Look at the mentals. Look at the mentals. Pelvis, he pays not much, but I think he might be a half-decent little option for us. Right. Here they go again. Here he's handsome. Parking. Alan. Oh, it's a lovely cross. It's two. Oh, my God, boys. I said they're not going to score four goals in 35 minutes, and they've scored two in four minutes. Commentator's curse. Right, let's just berate my squad. Right, can we get a fifth? Wilson, just to put the game to bed. 20 minutes to go. It's a deep one. McGill. Habergum. He's got a lovely left foot. He has got a lovely left foot. Puts it in. Game over. Let's get Big John on. And we'll also take off Butterfield as, as well. Play that we rely on a lot. Let's get Luca Colville on. We're still going. Habergum. Atkinson. Richards. There it is. It is game over. Thanks for that football manager for that highlight. Right. Nice little win. 5-2. Disappointed about the two goals. But five goals scored, which that's good. That is good. And York City have drawn with Chester. That puts the lead at the top to one point. We've secured a playoff spot as well. Callum Semple is injured. Right, we're going to move on. It is Hereford at home. Our opportunity, fingers crossed, you never know, we may end up this episode top of the league. All right, boys, and we are back. Uh... Cammy Palmer's back. Um, I didn't realise his contract expiring at the end of the season. He has absolutely no interest in signing a new deal. Uh, I'm hoping that may change when we... When? Jesus. If we get promoted. But just looking at it, I don't think... Because the two clubs that are after him are Bolton and Shrewsbury. Um, what, League One clubs? So, uh, yeah. This could be a problem. But... Let's focus on the now, and the now is Hereford, an opportunity potentially to go top. So Palmer's going to come back in. Kebby is also going to come back in on that right-hand side as a decent season, two goals and 10 assists for the former Atletico Madrid man. Right, here we go. First highlight of the game. They've gone long. We get the ball down. Herbergum got it right. Lovely ball out to Kebby. I love the red and white strikes with the red shorts. Looks absolutely tremendous. Right, all the way back to the goalkeeper, Hall. He's gone long. Long ball from the goalkeeper again. They're going to score. And that shouldn't happen, should it? That should not happen at all. He's just got the run on him. And he's been allowed to ghost in. So I think what we need to do is we need to go into player instru instructions here on the tactics screen. Get Semple. And we'll get him to man mark the central striker. With that then, it should allow Weeter not to really go in and try and challenge with him. Let's see if that works. So I want Weeter, the centre-half, just to be dropping off and collecting any spare balls. Right, Semple into Herbergen. We're 1-0 down against bloody Hereford, but we could be in here. Jamie Hopcut. Is he going to find a cross? He finds Herbergen. So not a penalty. It is a penalty. There's no VAR. That is a shocking decision by the referee, but we'll... We'll take it. Gavin McGill stepping up to make it 1-1 on 10 minutes. Up he steps. Goal. It is 1-1. We have been gifted a lifeline. If that was the other way around, I would be going absolutely mental. But it's 1-1. Fingers crossed. We can now push on. Right, Hodgkiss. Owen Evans. Story. Crossing. We should got plenty of bodies there to deal with. We do, but it's going to come back. Hancock's. Can we defend? Kebby's there. We've got plenty of men bound on the ball, but we've been caught out there. It's going to go in. We've had an absolute shambles back there. It's offside. The linesman's giving it, and we've got very, very lucky because that was just terrible. Story does a little peel away at the back stick from Habergum. It is so tight. Very unfortunate. It actually then, the keeper saved it. It came off Habergum and then went into the path of the centre forward, and we've been given. We've been lucky so far in this first 18 minutes. Right, McGill. Palmer. That's terrible. Kebby. Butterfield. Slow it down, boys. Just let's get in the game first. Weeter. Sample moving forward. 
out to Butterfield, who heads it to Habergham. Hop cut. McGill, yes, terrible goalkeeping. We've managed to get our noses in front. We should be 2-1 down, but for some reason, we've had a little bit of luck today for once. Good head about Habergham to put in Hopcut. Hopcut then checks on his favoured right foot, dinks in across, and there is McGill to power it in. Too hot for the goalkeeper hall. 2-1. We are top of the league because York and Farsley are still 0-0. Now, I'm expecting that to change, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We just need to see out this game first. Butterfield. Palmer. Short corner routine again, boys. Palmer. Lovely. Harrison was there. It was a poor delivery in the end because Harrison was sort of free. He could have just put it onto his head, but he left it a little bit short. We've got it back, though. Riconza. McGill's going to chase into the channels. Nope. We're getting it back for a third time. Butterfield. Kebby. Palmer. Wheater. I don't know what we're going to do about losing Palmer because we're not going to have the, the reputation to really replace him. For like, for like, in terms of quality. So we're going to be lacking next season already. Right, Hancocks. Vincent. We're in trouble here. We are in trouble because the goalkeeper never never come out and get it. The goalkeeper never came out. He just sort of like stuttered on his line. You watch again, look. Vincent, decent cross from Vincent. But that should be goalkeepers all day long. Absolute flapasaurus in there. And story, it's 2-2. York are top. And we've been poor this game. We really have. Semple, Butterfield, Palmer, Raconza, McGill. Good football. Progressing through the thirds. A lovely pass to Kebby. Volleyed in. Hopcuts. What a cross that was from Kebby. Hopcuts. Raconza. He's ninth of the season. Central midfielder on attack, boys. They love to get in the penalty area. And the lead has been restored. What a response. Literally a minute. Right, corner kick to Hereford. Don't you dare. They've glanced the bar. York must be winning. But that's fine. Oh dear, we're all over the spot with him. We should have Semple. Should be man marking him. For some reason he's not. Right, Semple. Palmer. Semple. Wheater. Harrison. Raconza. It's good football again from us. Nice and patient. Work it from side to side. Waiting for that little bit of opening there. Obviously playing with a little bit of a low block. Or a mid block, should we say. Raconza. Butterfield. Just trying to pull a few players out of position. We're patient. Good football. Good knock into McGill. Kebby. Deliver from it. Oh, he's pulled it back to Raconza. That's good. Hop cuts there. And he's headed it straight in to the goalkeeper's hands from about three yards. Anywhere else, and it would have been a goal. Are we going to see it out? Let's go on defensive. No more risks. Two goals conceded, though, boys, again. There you go. Plenty of goals for you today. It's a big... This is going to be a big-ass episode. All right. I think York have won, which we were expecting because they were at home to Farsley Celtic. They are. They've won. 1-0. Just 1-0. Transfer deadline has ended as well. So what have these... What have these young chaps done? No, nope, the last signing was they didn't do anything in January. Okay, that's fine. They didn't really need any players, let's be honest. They didn't really need any more, did they? They've also missed Josie Eltador. He's only played 15 games. Slip disc as well, so he's not. He's probably not going to... He might make the end of the season. Yeah, he's going to be back. He's going to be back, so they've done well. They've done well not having the main man for most of the season. All right, All right boys, so we will come back for... The final two games of the season. Fingers crossed. If there's something to play for in the final game of the season, we will come back for those two games. If not, Tuesday's episode will be the playoffs. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Go and check out the Patreon. Get yourself in the game. You Patreons as well. If you want your picture to go along with it, all you need to do is make sure you get that sent to me across on Twitter or Discord, and I will put that in for you. Thank you very much for watching. Smash a like, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff, and we will see you on Tuesday night for the end of season one. How are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about the playoffs. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. All right. Take care. See you later.